welcome to Power Toys Presents, I'm your host King Grimlock and today we're going to be taking a look at the G.I. Joe 25th Anniversary Cobra Warrant Officer, Flint. This is Flint in disguise. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. He's gone undercover ladies and gentlemen. But there's something about this that's a really odd idea but works really well. All they've basically done is taken the original Flint head and whacked it on a basic Cobra Trooper body and you've got a whole new character. Very ingenious from those boys at Hasbro. But it works quite nicely, and the fact that you get an inclusion of another head, this is actually Flint in his uh, Cobra mask. Even though he has different shaped eyebrows, go figure. Let's um, see if I can actually remember. Yeah, there you go. So he's actually got the hair rather than the bald head, even though the hair is just painted on. Which is quite funny, actually. <laughs> it's not sculpted in. Um, yeah. It adds to it, and the heads are easily interchangeable. I think that's kind of the thing that we want to focus on here. You can just pop his head off, whack the head on with the helmet, and even more so you have him as a Cobra Trooper. What Cobra Trooper would get away with having his sleeves rolled up is another thing entirely, but there we go. Um, so, get his head off and put the uh, the flint head back on. Now, this head also adds for if you are a slight, slightly sick puppy, you can have Flint the murderer, who's slightly proud of his achievements. Yes, that's how I like to pose him. Um, and because he is a standard Cobra officer, uh, Cobra officer outfit, wearing exactly the same all the way through, just having the the Flint arms. I believe they're exactly the same ones as the Tiger Force Flint that we looked at recently as well. He does come with the standard Cobra knife. Painted handle, nice, but no painted hilt on this one. It's nice that they do bother doing different, slightly different issues on the blades, which kind of is nice to look at aesthetically, but it is kind of odd in terms of um, uniformity of an army, because you would believe that if they were going to have the same uniform, then they're going to have the same basic weaponry as well. Unless they personalise them, you never know. The highlight for this toy for me is the gun. I absolutely adore this for some reason. You have sort of like this silenced um, pistol with a sight on it and everything. It just looks lovely. The sculpting on it is fantastic. I'm yet to see this on another figure. That said, I only have a few, so I couldn't say that that's the case for a lot. And he holds it really nicely, as you would expect. He holds it really nicely, as you would expect. I'm going to put it in his other hand, ladies and gentlemen, where he might hold the damn thing. Yes, because that's got the... The trigger finger on it. I do like the sculpting on these hands that have got the trigger fingers there. It ho a it holds them into place better, and B it just uh, it just holds them into place better. Hold your damn gun, man. Oh, there we go. Uh, this figure is quite a weird one because all my slating of the uh, the basic Cobra Trooper outfit and just using it for repaint's sake should mean that I hate this guy. But the inclusion of a second head, so in theory, you can just have another. Um, army of Cobra uh, troopers, you know, just swap the head over and you've got a differently armed Cobra trooper with his sleeves rolled up. It just um, breaks it up a little bit, but it'd be nice to have a unit of your basic Cobra troopers in this colour scheme with your flint in, with his helmet on and everything, sort of positioned in the middle of it, slightly differently armed and of course notable because his sleeves are rolled up. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been King Grimlock, this has been G.I. Joe 25th Anniversary Cobra Warrant Officer Flint. And we will see you next time.